Given that those institutions are largely behind many of the factors driving things like war, climate change, poverty, famine, many of the calamities that we face uh, in humanity, um, I would like to say that history would judge them harshly, accurately so, but that also implies that we will, we will be here in a civilized sense to construct history. So maybe that's a trick question. Um, I hope history will be around to judge the things that happen. So, that implies that we've moved in a, uh, a, a more sustainable direction. But the evidence, the evidence for that exists on local levels. It does. It's happening. You know, take a country like Costa Rica. Um, you know, one of the stories we did in Project Censored not long ago was about how Costa Rica was moving to all renewable energies. And for several months, they ran their country on entirely renewable energies. Germany's moving uh, into uh, renewable energies. I mean, it's happening. It's even happening in the United States in places like California, slowly. But it is happening. But the point from the previous environmental climate question was, it, 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 it's too little too late, right? I mean, I could also say better late than never, uh, but uh, it's, I, think that, I think that even the historical trajectory that we, that we have seen now, even if we were to look at 2016 and look back, you know, 50 years, we can already harshly judge how we got here. And if we don't turn it around, future generations, I believe, will rightly judge us as callous narcissistic, self-interested monsters that maybe we are.